Secret Agenda was a reference when all the brewers gathered in a musty room and we were just having a brewer conversation, steering away from and which is 99% of what brewers talk about. And the name Secret Agenda just got mentioned and I don't even remember in regards to what because we want to keep people guessing. And <laughs> then, because we don't remember or we want to keep people guessing. I think we should talk about how in the hell it's Lagunius and how in the hell it's moonlight. That's a good thing to talk about. How is it moonlight? It's moonlight because it's a lager yeast and you, we didn't add four pounds per barrel of trendy hops. Thank God, because trendy hops are just, just wrong and immoral. They are wrong and immoral, but Maybe one of them was. is trendy. Ugh. You didn't know that when you picked it. So that particular hop is Australian Enigma. So that's grown in the Southern Hemisphere. Enigma Fantasia Sterling three kind of mysterious words that formed the three mysterious points of the secret agenda. Santa Rosa, Petaluma, and the world. Hmm. That's what I think. It's not to scale. If you are a hophead and you like lagers and you like malt, this is the perfect celebration of all three of those things. If what like, if you're not even any of those? It's still the perfect celebration of any of those. You want to have a not just age appropriate, a month appropriate beer for when you're drinking. Because you know, in the middle of summer, how many people do you say, oh, I like a beer on a hot, hot day when I'm mowing the lawn? Well, that's certain beers. And certain beers you want, hey, it's snowing outside, and I want to drink a, okay, what is it when it's March? And the answer is it's a pale bock. What people don't know is what actually a delicate lager yeast driven beer is. I like to talk about a Czech Pils as like, it's an IPA, but with someone with a Fuck out of a whisper. Mm. Instead of a fucking bitch, which is what most IPAs are these days. I mean, yeah. We gotta do this all over again.